This is kind of interesting behavior. I encountered this black racer when I opened the door. But when I first came upon him, he went in the corner and he started rattling his tail as hard as he could, just like a rattlesnake. There you go, see it? Do that again, buddy. There you go, see? He's trying to do a... Trying to do a rattlesnake impersonation. <laughs> It's not very convincing. Sorry, buddy. It's like he opened the door and he's right there and then goes in the corner. There he goes. There you go. You can take off now. Black racers are so cool. I've seen a lot of black racers. But I have to say... And I haven't noticed the rattling of the tail before. They're, it can be pretty aggressive, but he's putting on a real aggressive show here. He's got his head cold at me. And he's maximizing his snake tongue excitement. Definitely in full, uh, full trying to impress posture. A lot of times you just accidentally encounter snakes because they have a tendency to s move right along the corners of buildings, under doors, and passing by things, and not really having any intention of coming inside. But when you open the door right on one, then you're face to face with them, and they have to do their best to stand their ground or run. Now, Black River, he's gonna, he knows. There he goes. He has to pass by me here and I'm going to let him go. That's a little strange behavior. He may have, uh, maybe the, the breeding season. That's a little strange behavior. He struck at me really hard there, so we're just gonna let him go. Uh, probably in his mind, the fact that I bothered him like this, he's thinking, okay, this guy is not gonna let me go, so I'm gonna give him his space now. At the point where he was starting to head there and I got just a little too close to him and he sensed that uh, he'd better get super aggressive. So he actually struck hard at me and jumped actually fairly good. I don't think I caught him better because I had to jump back. Now he's back in the corner again where he was, facing the wrong way. So he's got himself in the corner again. So I'm going to just... Stay away from him. But uh, I've run into a lot of black racers over the years. And I don't recall the old tail, faked rattlesnake tail shake before. That's kind of interesting. Of course, being just into March, this is probably their breeding season, so. Let's give him a break. Hey, buddy. Feel free to turn around and leave. Well, you know what? Maybe he was going this way. So let's... Uh, he's doing this really. Doing the old snickerish tail shake again. That is interesting, really. So... What are going to do? He's, he's getting ready to strike again. He is, he's wound up. See that position right there? Yeah, he's up there. All right, we're going to just back off. 
He's getting all kinds of agitated. And we're just gonna That's how he gets some distance on his strike. He gets up like that. So that he can do a serious strike. That is actually pretty impressive. He's said back off, gave him room. Snakes are like that though, I think. He wants to come this way. No, I don't want to harass the poor guy. If I were to like approach him now, he would know. For example, I backed off now and he's still on high alert. Really unusual behavior for a black racer though. Okay, let me just get out of his line of sight and see what he does. It's so hot out here today, almost 92 degrees, so... I bet I walk way off here to stand in the shade. That's a big black racer. So I'm giving this total space now. He shouldn't feel any pressure from me at all. I'm zoomed in from far away. And he's got that head up like that. He's got that head up smelling the air. The wind is blowing my way so he's not going to smell me with his extra sensory uh, tongue and everything. Okay. Okay, so that's interesting. He's going back the way he came from. And that's one of the reasons why you got to give snakes their space. It's super hot out today too, so he may be... It's kind of an interesting encounter with a black razor. Usually they only last seconds. This guy's on a mission. He doesn't seem to know what he wants to do now. It may just be that mating thing going on, mating season. Just acting a little squirrely. give him total space now so he can go whatever way he wants to go. The snakes are actually, you don't see them around very often because the hawks are pretty adept at picking them off. The red shoulder hawk and the red tailed hawk, this is like their favorite meal. Okay, so he's going back along the foundation. And one of the reasons is make you on fast now. He's heading that way. That's usually what happens when you encounter a snake. They, they, they tend to move right along the foundation of housing and sometimes they just sit under the door jam to relax in the coolness There's no intention of coming inside and you open the door and they close alright, he's super far away, now you know I don't want to go up there and unduly harass him just for the sake of a video He's coming back the other way. He's coming back this way. I think he's got snake hormones raging in him. I'm like, oh. Easily 75, 80 feet away in the shade. And he's still fired up though.
He got his head up in the air like that. The squirrels and blue jays see him, they'll start harassing him. There he goes into the grass. There he goes. Nice cool grass. Underneath the mango tree. He got his head sticking out, look at that. That is very unusual behavior. It's, it's, it's got to do with the breeding season, I'm sure. That kind of behavior. Yeah, it's going by the mango tree now. Big snake. Ah, there he is. Snake in the grass. See, usually when they're passing through somewhere, they just stay down and go fast. He's, he's on the hunt. Probably got the scent of a snake scent or something. That's just unusual to see a a black racer act like that. Usually when you encounter them, you just accidentally see them and they just run. There he is. <laughs> now we're getting through the grass. There he just pop his head up. That's unusual. He pops his head up to look around and smell. I think he's looking for snake love. Never been able to have such an interesting time observing a black racer before. Now, in that particular case today, if he would have accidentally come upon him, he would have definitely bite you. Which, you know, would be it struck really violent. I mean, it'd be painful, but non venomous. I think he's heading back to the jungle now. That's lovely. He knows he's close to the fence now. Passing right by me again. I'm not going to bother you, buddy. Heading back to the woods. There we go, underneath the fence. Off he goes. Interesting encounter. 